Welcome everyone to a Khan Academy tutorial. Today we are doing solve similar triangles, the basic one. This is for all our geometry students starting similarity. We'll go ahead and get started. We have here that triangle FGH is similar to triangle ABC. And we're gonna see if it's easy as ABC or one, two, three. But let's go ahead and start by breaking down what is this talking about? Well, if it's similar, First off, the symbol for similar is this. Uh, as congruent is this one, this one is similar. Uh, so we have A, B, C, triangle. Let me put triangle symbol in front, A, B, C. Now, here's the key to this problem. Because when we're talking about similar, we're talking about equivalent ratios. For example, if we have uh, a rectangle, this is a rectangle, this is 10, and they're similar, uh, and this one's two times bigger, then this has got to be five. And if this is four, then this has got to be two. Notice how everything is just times two. Five times two gives you 10, two times two gives you four. Okay, so everything about the triangle has a proportion. That means you multiply the sides by the same thing to get all the equivalent sides. The trick to these problems is understanding which sides are equivalent. Uh, which sides do we compare? So do we compare a nine with 14 or do we compare seven with 18? Do we compare six with this X? That's the trick to this problem and I'm gonna show you how we determine which sides it's comparing. Well, the key to this problem lies in the labeling of the triangle. So it says FGH is similar to ABC. That means F, angle F is the same as angle A Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and label that. F is the same angle as A. Then we have G is the same angle as B, okay? Because it's listed in the same order, it has to be, okay? Otherwise it's messing up, it has to list it in the same order. So this is G and B, and then we have uh, H and C have to be similar angles also, okay? Congruent angles, when they're similar, uh, when tri uh, triangles or any shapes are similar, the angles are equal. The sides are proportionate. That doesn't mean the sides are equal. They're proportionate. That means they're multiplied by the same thing to get the bigger, uh, bigger triangle, okay? Now, with this information, we can kind of see what segments are congruent, okay? Or, sorry, not congruent, but similar. Which ones we need to compare? If we look here, FG, okay? FG is here, connecting the blue angle with the green angle. Well, where's the blue angle and green angle on the other triangle? Right here, AB. So really, if you're looking to compare which sides are the similar ones to set up your proportion, you need to just look, okay, if we compare the first two here, we're gonna compare the first two here. If we compare the second two here, we're gonna compare the second two here. So that was that, GH and uh, BC. Okay, so those are our two proportions that we're gonna set up. So what can we say? Well, those are two proportions we can set up. So we can say 18, I'm gonna go, oh, forgot to mention this. Now, when you're setting up a proportion, you wanna compare the triangles in the same way. So for example, I like to have my big triangle on top and then my small triangle on the bottom. You could go the other way around, it doesn't matter, as long as you're consistent when you set up your proportions, okay? So I want my big triangle compared to my small triangle. Well, I'm gonna compare one side to my big triangle, that's 18, to one side of my tri small triangle, that's nine, okay? And then we go 18 divided by nine is two, okay? That means the big triangle is twice as big as the small triangle, or two over one, two to one ratio. Is it the same with the other side, the blue side, GH and BC? Well, again, I'm comparing my big to my small, and then I use blue to show that I'm comparing those two sides. So 14 over seven. Okay, that also is two. That means we have a similar triangle here. Well, let's do the same thing with our unknown side. We're gonna go big. Here's our unknown side, this purple and this purple. Big to small. And then we have X, we don't know what it is, over six. Hmm, so what do we do? Okay, well, if we know this ratio needs to be two over one or just two, now we can cross multiply and solve for X because we have a proportion, this box right here. So you take your known ratio, two to one, after you set up like ratios with your known sides, then set it equal to your unknown ratio, the one involving X. 
and there's your proportion, solve for x. So we do x times 1 gives me x. 6 times 2 gives me 12. 6 times 2, let me just multiply, show this out, show all the steps. So we get x equals 12. That makes sense because it's twice as big. Okay, All these sides were times 2 to get the, the bigger sides. It's a scale factor of 2. That's what we call scale factor. And we know everything checks out. 9 times 2 is 18. 7 times 2 is 14. 6 times 2 is 12. x equals 12. And there we go. All right. Moving on. So ABC is similar to XYZ. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to skip a few steps. I'm going to say, okay, I know AB, that side is going to be the same as XY. So AB here is going to be similar to XY here. All right. Perfect. So now we know that uh, I'm not sure which one's my big one yet, but we can get a clue by looking at the other side. So we have 18 and 16 and 24. Here we have 20, 22.5. Okay, so we have two sides that are bigger than the two other sides in the blue triangle. So we know that this is the big one and this is the small one. Okay, just because it has more big sides than the, the blue triangle. So if I'm going to compare my big to small, big to small, I know I'm going to have P over 24. Okay, we have a variable here. We can't go any further until we set up a proportion with our known sides. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's compare BC, these two uh, uh, lengths, or that side. BC is here, and we're going to compare it to YZ. Ooh, kind of a gross one here, but it'll do. So our, let's set up a ratio. Give me a second. I'm going to need my calculator for this one. So my ratio is big to small. You can go small to get big, again, as long as you're consistent. So my big side is 22.5. My small side is 18. So now I just do 22.5 divided by 18, and I get 1.25. Okay, a couple different ways we can do this. We can convert this into a fraction. So for example, we could um, set this 125 over 100 and then reduce that fraction. That's that's one way to change a decimal into a fraction. Or we can just put it over 1. Okay, I'm guessing you guys are going to like to do this. Put it over 1 and then we're going to take this and set it equal to this because we know they're similar triangles. So we're going to say P over 24 is equal to the proportion we know is correct, which is 1.25 over 1. From here, we cross multiply and we solve. So we get P times 1 gives me P. Then I have 24 times 1.25 and I get 30. Okay. Now, what does this 1.25 mean? That means that the red triangle is 1.25 times bigger. So we multiply all these dimensions by 1.25 and we should get the dimensions of the red triangle. For example, if we multiply 16 times 1.25, we should get 20. So go ahead and get 16 times 1.25 on your calculator, and we do. We do get 20 equals 20. So that's a way we can check our answer. So we know that P equals 30. Now, if you were to use 5 over 4, P over 24 equals 5 over 4, you would get the same thing. Okay, so don't think that you have to convert it into a fraction. You don't. But you kind of have to have a calculator handy or be good with uh, decimals in order to get that part. Okay, so now that you got the hang of it, we're going to speed things up a bit, follow along to the best of your ability. Okay, first thing I want to do is identify the big triangle. This one's big. This one's small. Okay, I'm going to be comparing XY to FG first. So XY to FG. Where is FG? I'm guessing the G is down here. So we have our first one, which is N over 6. Okay, we need... Uh, something without a variable. So let's compare yz to gh. So yz is here, 5, to gh, that's 15. G's at the bottom here. G's down there. So we have, is going to be equal to my big, which is the, here's my big triangle, that's uh, 15, that's that side, over my other side, which is yz, which is 5. So now I have a proportion here. I could solve this and say n over 6 equals 3 if I want to, or I can just go from here. I could also reduce that fraction, 15 over 5, to, to what's that, uh, 3 over 1 if I wanted. 
but I'm just going to show that you can go right from here to solving. So I'm going to cross multiply. I get 5n equals, what is that, to, I think it's 90, 15, no, I don't think, maybe it is, times, I think it is 90. It is 90. So we get 90, and then we divide by 5, divide by 5, I think we get 18, and we do. So we get n equals 18. Okay, so basically what this is saying is this ratio establishes our scale factor. We have a 3 to 1 ratio, or 3. Everything times 3 gives us the big triangle. So this is a scale factor of 3. We multiply this uh, corresponding side, which was, was it 6, times 3 to give us 18 for our smaller side. Uh, I think that's what, it's, yeah. Okay, so we get 18. And we have one more to go. So now we have triangle DEF. Okay, so let's see here. We have DE compared to AB. DE is here, 37.5. AB is this one. It's always the first one. Isn't that interesting? Now, we need to figure out which one's bigger first. So it looks like this one's our big one because it has more big sides. This one's our small one. So let's compare big to small. Okay, and this time, oops, I meant to do red, but... It'll work. So we get 37.5 for DE over our small side Y. Okay. So we don't have enough information yet. We need to go to another side. Let's go EF to BC. So EF to BC. So we have 27 equals 27.5. That's my big. Okay. Big on top over my small. Small on the bottom. 16.5. And right from here, I can cross multiply and solve. So I have 27.5y equals 37.5 times 16.5. 37.5 times 16.5. And I get, whew, big number, 618.75. 37.5 times 16.5. Okay, now I'm going to divide both sides by 27.5. Solve for y. Isolate the y. Do the opposite operation. So I divide by 27.5. And I get y equals 22.5. Okay, now if I wanted to find my scale factor, I could do this division right here, and it will tell me how much bigger is the big triangle. 27.5 divided by 16.5, and I get 1.67 about. Okay, so that boils down to what, five thirds? So really I could have done 37.5 over y equals five over three, this big triangle is five-thirds times bigger. We multiply all the dimensions times 1.67 or times five over three, and you'd get all the dimensions of the big triangle. So we're going with, uh, what was our big side again? Did I, did I write it down? Oh, yeah, 22.5, sorry. So y equals 22.5 because it was a small side. That's why it's in the bottom there. So 22.5. And that should do it. All right, hope you found this helpful. Hope you had success like we did. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.